Hi, welcome to the Balance Body Podcast. I'm Stacy Sims and I own Pendleton Pilates in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm an educator and an instructor here at Pendleton Pilates, as is Heather Summer, a co-educator with me and an instructor in our system. Today we're going to talk about spine stretch, standing spine stretch forward. And we're going to help you get the most out of this exercise. So first of all, what I want to talk about is um, oftentimes we bring to our fitness practice ideas of exercises that come from 20 years ago. So with the standing spine stretch forward, what tends to happen is, excuse me, clients, me even, will take, um, go ahead and take an inhale and exhale. Once the body starts to head toward the floor, our, our sort of old fitness body or our old fitness brain imagines that what we must be trying to do is to touch the floor. And in fact, this spine stretch forward is not an exercise about touching the floor. That tends to lengthen out the hamstring. What we're trying to do is use our abdominals pulling up and in to lengthen and stretch the spine, which means we have to keep the pelvis upright. So what we're gonna do is we're going to show you this exercise in a side view with Heather, and then we're gonna show you how you can do it at home to really strengthen and get the most out of the exercise without an instructor standing beside you to help you. So what Heather's going to do first is she's going to lengthen her spine. And ideally, if you have someone who can watch you at home, what you're trying to do is trying to get the ears over the shoulders, the shoulders over the hips, the hips over the feet. She's going to take an inhale, lengthen her spine to the ceiling. She's going to exhale, take her chin to her chest. Good, and she's going to take another inhale and she's gonna exhale and she's going to start articulating down so what's happening is, is that as she's heading down, she keeps her chin very close to her chest. She's lifting her abdominals and she's keeping her pelvis basically upright. So her hands are only going about as far down as her knees. And the way she's getting the stretch on the spine is by lifting the abdominals up to the ceiling to get separation between each of the vertebrae. In order for her to come up, she's gonna take an inhale, she's gonna exhale, she's going to feel like she's stacking her vertebrae one at a time, keeping the head down, chin to the chest, until she writes her spine back up nice and tall. So now we're gonna to move to the wall and we're gonna use a small ball to help Heather really feel her spine stretch forward. And you can use any small ball about this size, I just wouldn't use anything much bigger than this. Alrighty? You ready? Yes. Okay, we're just gonna step over to the wall. Terrific. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this small ball basically right on Heather, uh, behind Heather's pelvis. So she's basically going to, and she can actually sort of reorganize it. So the, the idea is that if you basically put your hand on your low belly, the ball would be on the opposite side. Alrighty, up against the wall. She's going to move her feet a little forward of the wall because if she had them all the way against the wall and leaned forward, she would feel as though she probably would fall forward. So the feet come maybe a foot away from the wall. She's also going to really squeeze her legs together. The more she squeezes her legs together or the more you squeeze your legs together, it's gonna to help keep the work out of the hamstrings and up into the abdominals and through the back. So essentially what she's gonna do is she's going to inhale, lengthen her spine. She's gonna exhale and bring her chin to her chest. And she's going to start executing a spine stretch forward while she's working to keep the ball squeezed against the wall. So she's gonna keep going down a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. She's breathing, I believe. She's going to take an inhale here and she's gonna exhale and she's gonna scoop those abdominals and she's gonna start coming up one vertebrae at a time. Good. So Heather, could you feel your abdominal muscles working more, trying to press that ball yeah. against the back and it helps stabilize the pelvis, right? Yes. Okay, terrific. Thanks, hope you stop by again soon.